Hey hey, Marcus House with you here, and like I said the other day, we would be back with one extra little video to celebrate the end of 2024. It has been a crazy year with SpaceX not only launching a record number of Falcon 9s and managing four Starship flight tests, but also taking that first step back way out into the void with Polaris Dawn. So yes, sit back, relax, and enjoy our 2024 Starship montage, and of course, Happy New Year. Hello and good morning. You're looking at a live view of Starship the world's most powerful launch vehicle and by far the biggest flying object ever made. We're currently awaiting our third flight test of Starship from Starbase Texas, or what we here at SpaceX like to call the gateway to Mars. We're hoping to surpass what we achieved in flight test number two back in November of last year. But regardless of today's outcome, the goal is to collect as much data as possible, and that'll help us get one step closer to a fully operational Starship. Compared to Saturn V, Starship has more than twice the thrust, and with some upgrades that are planned for the future, it'll have three times the thrust. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, seconds into flight, we are feeling the rumble. We are seeing 33 out of 33 Raptor engines ignited on the Super Heavy booster. Booster and ship, avionics power and telemetry nominal. Again, we'll see the booster engines start to shut down. You'll see all the three lights go out in the middle, and then we'll see the engines ignite on ship, pushing it away. And that will start carrying the ship into space. Okay, we got a Starship on its way to space and a booster on the way back to the Gulf. Engine cut off. There we go. As you heard there, Starship's six Raptor engines have successfully shut down, which is incredible. Look at these views, Dan. Good morning. You're looking at a live view of Starship as we await its fourth flight test from Starbase, Texas. We're excited to be joining you once again from SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne, California. We're seeing 32 out of 33 signal. engines lit on the Super Heavy right now. Ship ignition. Stage separation confirmed. Move back where start up. Acquisition received. This is our view of the jettisoned hot stage. Uh, as we mentioned, this is a temporary fix to help uh, reduce the weight of the Super Heavy booster. Future iterations will have a lighter weight integrated hot stage structure that won't need to be jettisoned. The landing bar just begun, and you can see the water below. We have The Ship is going to shut off its Raptor engine, Ship engine cut at, off. which we see right there. This view is basically looking down into the plasma blanket that is building up around Starship. It does appear that we have a little bit of burn through there. We can see pieces of the vehicle flying off. What a show it has been. It's been like watching Interstellar or something. <laughs> Downrange. Booster after chamber pressure nominal. 
that is one of the most gorgeous things I've ever seen in my entire life. Push Coming up on hot staging next. Ship engine There's startup. Post engines cut off. Stage separation. Booster. Stage Stop separation. Right. Hot stage separation confirmed. Ship under its own power. I'm seeing six out of six Raptors lit. I can confirm the command will send for the booster to come back. That is incredible. So I'm looking up right now. <laughs> so exciting to hear that we got a go for booster catch the booster is making its way back towards uh now land um in order to make that catch attempt in the tower now down to three raptor engines we can see those chopsticks now Welcome to the sixth flight test of Starship. This timing will bring us daylight views of the ships splashing down on the other side of the world. Four, three, two, one. Yeah, the Opal is pitching down. Booster Raptor, no pressure nominal. Hot staging confirmed, booster six out of six up. lit on the ship. Booster boost back going. Booster offshore divert. Unfortunately, that means that we are no go for the catch. And it is still very fun <laughs> to watch, watching it come down uh, for a soft splashdown off the Gulf Coast of Texas. We can see it there re-entering. You can see that the landing burn has begun booster. on the super heavy booster. What an incredible view of splashdown that we got today. Ship engine cut off. And there we just heard call out for Seco ship engine cut off. That's a live view inside Starship. And if you look closely, you can see our stuffed banana payload, which is doubling as today's zero G indicator. The ship, as you can see, is beginning to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. This is such a cool view. This reminds me of when we first performed the belly flop maneuver on the high altitude test with serial number eight. There's, There's those engines relighting. What a great reorientation by Starship. Wow. All three down to two into the water. Wow. And we have ship splashed down in the Indian Ocean. I have a feeling the crowd is about to go wild. Good call. <laughs> We're SpaceX. Back at home, we all have a lot of work to do, but from here, Earth sure looks like a perfect world. 